Welcome filmmakers, in this video I will be reviewing a graphics pack from Toka Graphics 4.0 by Motion Camp, the sponsor of today's video. In this package you will receive over 2000 elements, transitions, typographics, glitch overlays, sound effects, backgrounds, callouts, infographics, and countless more. I will leave a link in the description if you want to buy the pack. Now the reason why templates are so important is because some of your favorite creators use them. Think of Wakaz Kazi, Darren Mostyn, Mr. Alex Tech, and now me. So without wasting any more time, let's Let's see what's inside this pack and why it's so powerful, but before that, we first need to install the plugin. First, click on the link provided in this video. It should bring you to the download page. Here you can either click buy now or download the preview of the pack. Once you've downloaded the plugin, go to your downloads folder and click on the file named Togo Graphics 4.0 for DaVinci Resolve. Here you can open the PDF named Read Me. In the PDF, you will find links to two YouTube tutorials teaching you how to install the software as well as a link to download all the fonts in the pack, which I'll come back to in a bit. To install the plugin, go to the folder Toko Installer and open tokopackinstaller.pkg. Once this is open, you will have to read and go through the downloading process and the agreement. Once this is done, click on this link and download the fonts. Once these fonts are downloaded, you'll need to move them to the fonts folder within your Max library. You'll also need to move a few other folders to your Max library so that everything can work. I'll show a few examples on screen now, but Toko has instructions for this as well. Once everything is set up, you just open DaVinci Resolve and continue to the edit page. Go to the effects tab, scroll down to titles, click the arrow, and you should be able to see the Toko graphics library. Click on the arrow next to this, and it should show all the templates, graphics, etc. So let's use one of these here. Click and drag the one you want onto the timeline. You will see a few organizers, but for now, let's focus on edit text. Here you can manipulate what the text says in the template. I'll put Fuji Cine for the first line of text and color grade for the second line. For the last line of text, I can either delete it or say something like the best color grading channel. Along with this, you can edit the font size and font type, but for now, I'll leave it as default. And an extra note when editing the size of the text in the tab, the animation may affect the visibility of the text. This will be important later. Now let's say I don't like the colors of the text and I want something different. You can then scroll down to edit color and manipulate the text fonts as well as the background color and color of the graphics. Now this is great because you can edit every little detail exactly how you want it to be. You can even edit individual graphics elements to be unique. The only downside to this that I found is that it can be hard to match all the graphics exactly. It's possible and you can see how I did it here, but it takes more time and I wish there was a way to copy and paste the settings onto multiple graphics. And disclaimer, I'm completely new to graphics packs, so there very well could be a way to do this, but I haven't found it yet. Moving on to the extra controls, this also can edit the size and position of the text. Unlike the edit text tab, this tab does not cut off the text like before from the animation. The animation will be repositioned with the text. Now, in the main settings, you can control the size and opacity of the background. This is important if you have footage that you want the graphics to overlay, but you still want the footage to be visible or partially visible. The last tab gives you the ability to adjust the size of the graphics, text, and other groups, and is overall for fine-tuning your look. Along with these text templates, they have some interesting backgrounds and animations, which some look amazing while others are more simplified. They also have some animated social media icons, which is extremely important for creators today. You can drag and drop it onto your footage and resize it to plug your social media accounts. Here you can see I did my channel. They even have multiple variations of the subscribe animation. So if you're learning DaVinci Resolve or how to color grade, you should consider subscribing to my channel here. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a like. You see what I did there? I used the graphics pack. Anyway, there are so many different titles, templates, and graphics that it's hard to cover all in one video. But before I move on to the 600 included sound effects, which I've been using throughout this video, I want to cover another important section of the pack, and that is infographics. This is very important for small businesses and companies who need a way to show certain analytics. It works the same as the text tabs, but has a few extra controls for the numbers and analytics. I find them to be intuitive, but sometimes the numerics don't match the graph exactly, as you can see here. So you have to play around with it to get an accurate representation. This leads me into who this pack is for. I believe this pack would be useful to content creators, freelancers, small businesses, and filmmakers. There are two licenses for this pack. Both licenses give you the same tools, packs, and features for unlimited use and free updates and add-on packs. The extended license is for commercial work such as films, commercials, TV shows, 
shows and paid clientele work, but the regular license can be used for an individual or company creating their own content. Think of YouTube, self projects, self promotion that don't include money. Even though YouTube, you can earn money, it still falls into the guidelines of the regular license. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the audio. Throughout this video, I sprinkled in the sound effects from this pack. Audio is important to capture your audience's attention and set the mood in your project. Luckily, Toko has provided 600 sound effects in this graphics pack. Now, this being a graphics pack, they didn't have to include audio effects. It's a nice extra touch when purchasing this pack. There's whooshes, clicks, impacts, ambient sounds, nature, and more. Along with this, you also get some device effect that works similar to the text effects and infographics. Here you can see that I'm using it to put my logo on a phone, and you can customize it just like the text effects. Along with all these templates, you have full auto resize for all animations. It has a smart interface. I wasn't able to test this because my computer is so slow, and I'll get back to that in a little bit. It is really useful to just be able to drag it, drop it, move it around easily. Now with this product being so great, it's hard to find any downsides, but there are a few. To start, like I said before, these templates are very customizable, which is great, but this can be overwhelming for a beginner. It's very intuitive and easy to figure out, but if you just open DaVinci Resolve for the first time, you might need to search for a few tutorials to get started. Luckily, they provide tutorials for you within the pack, so that is no problem. Second, if you have an old or slow computer, your machine may have a hard time computing these graphics. Now, this shouldn't be a problem for most of you. I would say if your machine is from 2017 or greater and you take care of it, this pack will work great. But if you're like me, my computer is from 2015, the storage is just about gone and my battery is about to die permanently so if this sounds like you you may run into some issues a few of the issues I had were some graphics not rendering in my timeline the application crashing and overall slower performance now like I said any other computer this pack works smoothly and responds great honestly it's a miracle it works on my computer because it's eight years old and pretty much on its last life I really need a new computer anyway the third thing there is a a lot in this graphics pack. If you're just starting out, you may not need 2000 plus effects, graphics, and more. It also depends on if these graphics would be useful to you and if you actually like the designs. For me, hands down, as a creator, I think this is one of the best packs out there and is a no-brainer to buy, but really the choice comes down to you. And this isn't a downside, but here it says supports any resolution up to 4K. So if you have a project larger than 4K, the graphics may be capped at 4K resolution. I can tell a lot of time and care was put into this plugin and a lot of these templates are very intricate and well designed. And honestly, I love these templates. I'm so grateful that Toko reached out to me and that I get to share this with you guys because for me, at least as a creator, this is perfect. This is all you need. So again, if you want to purchase this pack, the link is in the description below. Anyway, now that you've mastered the Toko graphics templates, you should learn the previous steps to post-production. So if you want to learn my professional color grading workflow, watch this playlist here.